For anyone that doesn't know, my name's Alistair. I've been designing bikes for over a decade. When I design a bike, I use digital CAD software, so computer-aided design. This is my toolbox, and this is where all the thoughts that are in my head in terms of geometry and shape and materials, they all end up being put into this computer. And out comes a drawing that we can then take to a factory to be produced. And that's what you see behind me in the current causeway frame. What was important to us with the causeway when we launched it was that performance, geometry, handling, all of those key features were at the top of our priority list. We spent a lot of time testing different prototypes, riding it in different terrains, asking for lots of people's different opinions to refine the product. Um, we established a cool supply chain in Asia and all around Europe to build the bikes, to manufacture the frames, and we decided why not make a version of this in steel and why not make it locally by hand. Um, so that's what's led us to this next phase of our journey. So we're here in Newton Ards uh, with Owen from Donard Bikes. Uh, we've driven over today to essentially start the process of uh, a collaboration that we've been talking about for quite a while. We're going to make a, well Owen is going to make a steel version of our existing causeway frame with all our geometry but using his skills uh, and experience and craftsmanship to give us a, an end result. Getting from a drawing on paper to a finished steel causeway frame. So we've got a box of tubes um, which I've already sourced uh, some drawings. So I've got everything I need to start making the frame. So I've marked the thickness of the tubes on this one and I've drawn a center line down it. What I've checked as well is sometimes the tubes have got a very, very slight bow in them from the manufacturing process. So I've checked all that and marked where that is. Head tube. So this is a medium frame and the head tube is 180 millimeters long. It's normally 190 millimeters long, but because we're going to use a press-in headset cup, Owen's already figured this out. Yeah, we've already worked all that out. We've got other tubes, so these are the tubes for the rear triangle for the piece of the chain stays. So these are already pre-bent. Owen has been making frames by hand, traditionally using the same methods. I'm very different in my approach as to how I design a bike frame. Um, so it's interesting to see logical ways of design that Owen uses versus, I guess, the way I do it. Won't necessarily make any rideable difference on the bike, but it's knowing that it's been done is, yeah. is the important thing. Yeah, pizza's ready. So, nearly finished. Nearly finished. Nearly finished. Yeah. <laughs>